In the twilight of a time, there emerges a need for man to comprehend his own bitter fate. Finally resigned to the inevitable beyond, he searches the ages, desperate for stories of assurance, redemption, and hope. Such tales fill page upon page with enough ink to flood a thousand valleys and drown the tallest tree. But there is one tale that has as yet been told, the story of the outsider. Desolate and barren, humanity's at a crossroads. The people have retreated, shuttering their once carefree lives from unseen enemies which seem to play not only the physical form, but the innermost thought. Driven by panic, compelled by dread, the masses begin to devolve. Once dear neighbors turn wary foes, brother against brother, sister against sister. Achievement and ambition are dismissed as heretical or worse, treasonous. Even nature itself is scorned. Choked with suspicion and fear, voices do not dare to sing nor fingers to play. Imminent defeat is all but assured. But in the darkest hour, whispers begin to tell of a figure emerging from the darkness. A being without a name, faceless and obscure. Part presence, part idea, they say, as if the very force they describe has existed for eons. A dormant seed awaiting nourishment. Word of radical acts, disobedience and non-compliance spread among the people, at first fearful, then defiant as the legend grows. Whispers turn to cries and the cries into screams. Content to cower no more, the fury of the people is told to behold as they exact revenge on their captors. Sparing neither the repentant nor the bold. Now the fire is lit, smoldering in the belly of humanity. He cannot be extinguished, for the stories of the outsider endure even as evidence of its presence is debated with the passing years. Messages, dictations, warnings, stories such as these.